one is my ultimate pet peeve. This is when people ask me this question, I am so taken aback. You never want to ask someone, how old are you? Hello, welcome to The Modern Lady, where you'll learn how to elevate your life with elegance. I'm Devereaux. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe so that you can get an update when I've got new videos to share. I post two new videos every single week, so you want to make sure that you not only subscribe, but turn on your notifications so that you can find out when I've got more elegant inspiration to share. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you ladies so much for your continued love and support for my channel. I appreciate and adore you all. In today's video, I want to share with you some rude questions to never ask. This is a social etiquette lesson to help you be comfortable and confident in social situations. So I'm going to share with you a couple of questions and a couple of topics that you should avoid bringing up in a conversation with someone. Before I dive into the video, of course I have to say this because if you've been following me on YouTube for a while or you look at some of my posts on Instagram, you know that I absolutely love a good sunset and the window behind me has such a beautiful sunset right now. I am adoring the color combination and so it's just a beautiful winning moment. It's a beautiful gift that nature has given us today. Okay, we're going to dive back into the video and I'll share with you a couple of rude questions to never ask someone in a social encounter. And the first one is my ultimate pet peeve. This is when people ask me this question, I am so taken aback. You never want to ask someone, how old are you? It's offensive because you never truly know how old someone is. So you never want to assume a certain age, whether it's younger or older than they actually are. But asking someone of their age is rude and it's something you should certainly avoid doing. Now, if you're in a situation and someone is asking you of your age and you don't want to answer, you can always have a really creative way to respond like, for example, you could say, well, I'm old enough to, um, you know, vote. Or you could say, my soul's age is 31 or 36. Or how old do you think I look? And then have a joke or kind of be lighthearted in asking someone, you know, how old do they think that you look? You can have fun with it, but it's definitely a question that I really do not enjoy getting asked and people ask me that all the time people ask me that here on youtube and comments and if it's not something i want to share openly then it's not something that you should be asking so that's something for all of us to keep in mind when we're at different events when we're talking to people when we're meeting new people you never want to ask someone so how old are you <laughs> The second thing you want to avoid asking someone is how much something costs. Perhaps you are admiring a watch or a handbag that someone is wearing and you ask them, well, where did you buy that? How much was it? That's a rude question that you don't want to ask someone because the truth is that however much someone paid for an item that they own is really none of your business. And so you should never ask someone the cost for any items that they may be wearing, talking about, or have and possess in front of you. You just certainly never need to know how much something costs. So that's definitely a rude question to avoid asking in a classy conversation. The third question to never ask someone because it's just certainly very rude is around salary. How much do they make? How much money do they earn? You certainly never need to know that. If you're in a conversation and you're kind of just wondering, well, I don't really know how much they make. That's something you can keep to yourself, that thought or that question. You don't necessarily need to ask anyone how much they make because, again, that's another area, another category that it's really just none of your business. So it's not something you need to know, and it's definitely a rude question that you can avoid when you're having an elegant conversation. The next rude question to avoid asking in a conversation is around marriage and family. When are you getting married? 
When are you having children? Those are questions that you don't really need to ask someone, even in a joking way. It's never a funny question, even if you're laughing as you're asking the question or laughing as you're thinking about it. It's truly offensive, and again, it's something else that's really just none of your business. If someone is making a decision about when they want to have children or when they want to get married, that's really none of your business. So it's never a good question to ask when you're having an elegant and classy conversation. No surprise here, but the next question that is rude to ask that you should avoid in a classy conversation is around religious beliefs. What religious affiliation do you believe in? What are your beliefs? Do you have a religion? What is your faith? Those questions are best left unsaid because everyone has a different opinion and different values and morals that they choose for themselves. And unless they're sharing that with you, they probably don't want to talk about it. So you never need to ask and start having a lot of questions around that topic because it's highly sensitive and that's just a personal and private decision that someone can make for themselves. So you never need to ask someone what their religious beliefs are when you're in a conversation. The next rude question to avoid asking in a classy conversation is around political affiliation. What party do you vote for or who are you hoping wins the next presidential election? Those are questions that you really don't want to ask someone because again, it's a sensitive topic and what people choose to believe is a personal decision. So unless they're giving you that information, they're volunteering and sharing it with you, it's really best for you to not ask those questions and just let them enjoy being who they are and being comfortable in who they are without prying and asking to try and figure it out if they don't volunteer that information to share with you what political affiliations they may have. The next rude question to avoid asking in a classy conversation is around weight and asking someone if they gained weight or if they lost weight. Those are questions that you really don't need to bring up in a conversation. It can make someone feel uncomfortable. It can certainly make someone feel maybe bad or nervous or anxious about themselves. And you never want to make someone feel uncomfortable in a conversation. The best thing that you can do in a conversation is to put others at ease and to make them feel comfortable. So you never want to ask questions about someone's weight, if they gained weight or if they lost weight. That's just something that if you notice their appearance looks a little bit different, you can really keep that to yourself rather than asking them questions and having a conversation about their lifestyle and their journey and any changes they may be going through. The last rude question to never ask in a classy conversation is around sexual orientation. Are you gay? Are you straight? Those are questions that you do not need to ask someone how they identify. And it's really just, again, it's a personal decision that people make for themselves. And it's never something that you need to have a conversation about. You never need to know or inquire what someone is choosing to do or choosing to believe, how they're living their lives. And so you certainly don't want to ask someone questions about their sexual orientation in a classy conversation. Ladies, I would love to know from you what are some rude questions that you avoid asking in a classy conversation. Maybe there's another rude question that you avoid asking that I didn't mention in this video. Please share in a comment below and we will keep the conversation going. As always, ladies, thank you so much for tuning in to the Modern Lady YouTube channel. I hope that you appreciated and learned something new in this video, and I look forward to seeing you again in another one. Bye!